Here's a little demonstration of how we can implement a multi-level pyramid pattern in Frog. So the Pyramid app, which was developed at uh, Universitat Pompeu Fabre in uh, Barcelona by Davinia hernandez Leo's group, um, basically lets you uh, work with a large number of students by first having students work in small groups or pairs. Um, to Then you take those groups and you combine them into larger groups and they can vote on the most interesting or um, interesting option and then you can combine those groups again and those groups again and thus you can go from 30 or even 100 people down to um, a few specific uh, suggestions or ideas in the end. And this is uh, an interesting pattern because it involves hierarchical social structure and we wanted to see if we could uh, implement this uh, using the frog orchestration graphs. So here's the graph that I'm going to demonstrate. It looks a little bit complicated, but of course this could be implemented as a template so that individual teachers wouldn't have to configure all this. Uh, basically we have an in, in initial individual activity uh, where we're asking the students a question. We uh, create pairs randomly and we send the initial um, ideas from the two persons in the pair to a brainstorm where they can vote up or down. They can also add some new ideas and we give them a chat to coordinate. This social operator takes the groups generated here and creates larger groups consisting of several small groups. And then we send the ideas from uh, that uh, small group. We filter out the top choices and uh, send it into this brainstorm. Sorry, And uh, we do the same thing again. We create new groups here and we send the content again. So this is a three-level pyramid individual group, larger group, even larger group, and finally uh, we have a, um, a visual board where we can uh, group the ideas that come out of this. Uh, now, of course, to try uh, to demonstrate this, we need quite a lot of students, so I have a ton of small windows open. I think it's about 16 students logged in, so we're going to try to run this graph now. So I will start the graph, and I will add some ideas. So here's, for example, student 12. He has this question, what is the most challenging task for a teacher? And um, we're going to enter some ideas. While uh, the students are filling in these items, we can look at the progress dashboard. We see here um, a little bit over 50% of the students have uh, completed this first task. Um, so we will uh, proceed with that. We're going to now pair the students up. And here we see, for example, in group six, uh, we have student four and student nine and each um, student has uh, submitted an item. So we, uh, the students can now uh, collectively decide which item is high, most highly rated. They can add new items. Maybe they have some new ideas. We're now going to group these groups into even larger groups. We see here some groups with uh, four students, and uh, we have one item from each uh, subgroup. So we can again vote, and uh, we will do this one more time. So we will now combine these groups of four students. And now we have a group with uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight students. Again, we have two items, one from each um, from each uh, group. And finally, we will take the top item from each large group, and we're going to send it to this um, uh, visual board. And here we see we finally combined all the students into two very large groups. 
each of the students' groups um, chose a single item, and now as a group, we, as a whole class, we can decide uh, where these items uh, fit in. And of course, we could do other things with this as well. This is just an example um, of how this could be done. We could end up with four large groups instead of two. Um, we could now take this content and bring it back into uh, an individual reflection. Um, there's a lot, of, we could use different activity types instead of the voting that we've been using. Uh, we could have different content types instead of the, the text area that we use now. We could have images, we could have spreadsheets, and so on. So that was a, a quick demonstration of uh, Pyramid in Frog.